Okay. Let us now talk about the second main key similarity and difference among countries, which is human capital attainment. Human capital basically is the health and education of people. Ki logo ka health kaisa hai aur unka educational level kitna hai, unka skill development kitna hua hai. How much they have adapted themselves to the latest technology. Okay, just for example, all of you now know that you know there is a lot of uh, news about R, Python, Chat GPT. How much you are able to go ahead and learn those things, right? That is basically your human capital. Drastic progress in health and education in most of the developing countries. So it has been seen that over time, there has been a huge, huge increase in the in the human capital, in the educational level of people, in the health level of people. If we are at this time, pe, jase, for example, we know now, that education can be compared through human development index. One of the important component is education, right? One of the important component is health, right? So if I go ahead and if I look, if I compare the literacy rate in any country, right? If I look at the death rate, which is mortality rate, in any country, if I look at infant mortality rate, IMR of different countries, it has been seen that all of these have improved. Death rate has declined, mortality rate has declined, literacy rate has increased. So, her aspect me, there has been a development which has taken place compared with developed countries. Many developing nations have still lagged. So, ye baat to hai that if we compare developing versus developed countries, there are three main aspects in which they lack. The first aspect is the level of nutrition. Agar hum compare kare ki ek developing or ek developed nation ka human, what they are eating, you will notice that a developed nation person will have a more, more protein rich diet. Uh, the nutritional level, jo, the diet that they have, the nutrition that they take is better. Less life expectancy, right? A developing person, a, a person who is born in developing nation doesn't get good health care, doesn't get good nutrition. And on that, just air, mein wo hai, right? The air that they are breathing, it is very full of, full of diseases, full of pollution. Right? Under nourishment, a developing nation may the individual, the nutrition that the individual will be getting will also not be good. Upper middle countries are significantly closer to upper income countries. So, you can see that if I compare, so we know that we have low income countries and then we have low middle income countries, upper middle income countries. Then we have upper income countries. So we see that these two, they are closer not only in terms of income, but in terms of health, in terms of education, in terms of other aspects also, in dono mein kafi zyada similarity hai. These two are closer to each other. Now this is just one example. So this is in under 5 infant mortality, under 5 mortality rate. वो बच्चे जो 5 या 5 से कम साल के हैं उनमें कितनी डेथ रेट है दैट इज व्हाट वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग एंड वी हैव टेकन टू इयर्स वन इज 1990 एंड वन इज 2017 एंड वी आर कंपेयरिंग लो इनकम कंट्री लो मिडिल इनकम कंट्री अपर मिडिल इनकम कंट्री एंड हाई इनकम कंट्री एज यू कैन सी पहला ये देखो कि अगर मैं 1990 के मुकाबले 2017 को किसी भी कंट्रीज में कंपेयर करूं नोटिस दैट for low income countries, the mortality rate has decreased. For low middle income countries, the mortality rate has decreased. For upper middle income country, the mortality rate has increased. And for high income country also, the mortality rate has decreased. Mane health facilities have improved across countries over the years. Agar hum kisi bhi ek category ko lehen, agar hum sirf low income country ka baat kare, to death rate jo hai wo decline ho gaya hai. Low middle income country mein bhi death rate decline hua hai. Upper middle income country mein bhi and high income country mein bhi. 
so we see that the death rate or the in the under 5 mortality rate has declined now if i compare across countries agar main ab kisi bhi year ko constant rakhke countries ke through compare karu first i was keeping countries constant and comparing different years right now i am keeping year constant and comparing different countries so if i keep the uh, year uh, year constant at 1990 and compare different countries so dekho low income country had the highest infant mortality rate low middle income countries ka thoda kam tha upper middle income country ka thoda aur kam tha aur high middle, high income countries ka infant mortality rate was lower similarly even if i compare for the year 2017 you will see that low income country still has highest infant mortality rate low middle income countries ka thoda kam hai upper middle income countries ka aur kam hai aur high income countries ka aur kam hai so we see that there is a key difference as compared to infant mortality rate if i compare the infant mortality rate in low income countries agar main inka infant mortality rate inse compare karu so this is this had 15 times more infant mortality rate right sorry under 5 mortality rate infant sir beta 1 year tak ka hote hai we are calculating up to 5 years of age theek hai so we can say that under 5 mortality rate is 15 times higher in low income countries than in high income countries but we have seen many changes since 1990 now let's talk about education ab hum education ka thoda dekhte hain so under education we have seen that the primary school enrollment has improved in the recent years jitna bacche school mein enroll karte the wo across countries improve hua hai but enrollment is not enough for literacy aisa ho sakta hai ki kisi bacche ko enroll kiya gaya but fir usse school nahi bheja gaya so school enrollment is not enough measurement to calculate the literacy school attendance is important and it has been seen that school attendance still remains a problem abhi bhi school ka attendance low hi hai aur school attendance abhi bhi bachcho mein problematic एक एस्पेक्ट रहा है द पीपल टीचर रेशियो इज लो इन द हाई कंट्रीज एंड हाई इन द लो कंट्रीज सो ये बहुत कॉमन एक रेशियो है वी फाइंड आउट द चिल्ड्रन वर्सेज द टीचर रेशियो एंड फॉर पर्सनल अटेंशन हाँ अभी जब आप मास्टर्स करने जाओगे तो बहुत बच्चे मुझसे पूछेंगे मैम आई एस आई और डी एस सी Huh? and similarly when you go ahead and you uh, go for your further education to masters mein hota hai na and similarly when you go for your higher education also phd jab aap karte ho to you realize that in phd aapka ratio further uh, declines ha huh? ek teacher ke paas uske sirf do ya teen research students hote hain why because as you progress jaise jaise aap masters and then phd and then so on when you in, in, you know you go to a higher level of education the quality of education needs to improve right you need more personal attention right and then we need a low teacher student ratio right all the students who are sitting for their civil service would would want to keep this in mind that whenever they will go ahead and they will use an indicator of quality of school जब भी वो ये इंडिकेटर जनरेट करेंगे कंट्रीज का स्टेट्स का अबाउट द क्वालिटी ऑफ स्कूल दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट व्हाट इज द टीचर स्टूडेंट रेशियो राइट ओके हेल्थ इन ईस्ट एशियन कंट्रीज हैज ओवरऑल इंप्रूव्ड बट द सब सहारन अफ्रीका स्टिल हैज मेनी मेनी हेल्थ इश्यूज लाइक एड्स मलेरिया टीबी एक्सेट्रा सो सब सहारन अफ्रीका में देखा गया है दैट दिस इज स्टिल Uh, the health condition has not improved completely and that is still a major problem right so this is the second key difference between countries that countries can be differed on the basis of health and education okay beta take thank you